So basically quite a bit of fireman gear. Nail gun. And yet another fire axe. Alright, so... We'll go get our backpack now. I was going to grab... There's a really full gas mask cartridge right there. Alright. That's all I need for now. What else? Clean PBA mask, helmet, don't care. And a clean suit in the locker. Malted milk balls. So there's a weight machine, exercise machine. Use that as well if you'd like. Cocaine and low-grade meth. <laughs> All right, a little bit of leg damage so far. I'm just kind of rolling through faster than uh, I normally would. Just try to get things cleared out so we can get working on other things. I just don't want to be interrupted at our base too often. So I think we'll just kind of clear my way through here and then we'll head back I think keep working on the uh, the books the skills we need Rollerblades? <laughs> yeah, I haven't worn my rollerblades yet. We've got a couple of pair of clean fitted rollerblades. We're not doing a dodge build anyway, so I don't care that it would tank the dodge. The danger is just the knockdown effect. If I were trying to do more maneuvering, I would probably use it, but right now I'm just thudding, blundering my way around the neighborhood, killing everything that I come across. The, the rollerblades aren't really useful in that circumstance. Uh, let's do a quick check out back again. See if anybody's moved back into our, our backyard lot here. Nope. Cool. Alright, we should have a nice uninterrupted period of time where we can get some, some real work done. Instead of just splattering silly zombies. Goggles off. Be nice once we get a better light source going too. Let's turn a flashlight on for just a little bit. Okay, I haven't bothered to set up a brazier or anything because I'm trying to get the vehicle mods done quick enough so I can just install the storage battery and uh, put the kitchen unit in and then I just won't have to worry about a, a brazier or anything. Yeah, I don't need M4s. <laughs> we've we've got M4s and other stuff already here, so we've got an M4 and another M4. So we'll uh, during the daylight when I go back out, we'll we'll spot check around the inventory that's laying on the ground. It's easier to do in the daylight when you can see a lot farther. I'm just about to the point where I'm willing to go out in the daylight hours. 
Yeah, short, short sledge. Uh, heavy bash weapons are helped by high strength and are hurt by low strength. We wouldn't get a lot of advantage out of it. <clears throat> nah. <laughs> I don't use guns very often. Very seldom. Hardly ever need to. Barring certain specific situations, but not when I'm trying to clear a city. You'll almost never see me use a gun. Using that shotgun last episode was one of the very few times I used a gun in a mega city type of environment. It just depends on circumstances, but uh, we don't really need it. We're not in any particular hurry to kill everything in the area. I've, cl I've cleared enough through melee that um, it's not really going to be an issue. Now you feel free to go scoop up every single bullet. That's that's not a problem if you'd like to do that, but I usually just shrug and keep walking. All right, uh, let's go back to, let's see. Let's actually take a few things out of this vehicle real quick. I'm gonna mod the Humvee a little bit first before we put the motorcycle together so I can just get the tools going. Trying to remember, if I install a vehicle welding rig, can I use it to work on an adjacent vehicle? Can't remember if you can do that. Been too long. Um. The whole point of, well, a, a large point of this challenge is just a demonstration of a completely average character. No stats, no traits, no skills purchased at all. We didn't start with anything. I just hit tab, 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 and we started into the game world. Uh, two, two things I was trying to demonstrate. One, it is possible to live in a megacity, even with a substandard character. So we, we, we didn't spend any points whatsoever. Um, it's also a completely default game world, which for me is pretty easy mode. Um, so not having any skills, stats, traits, and so on was one way that I upped the difficulty slightly for myself. Um, but I also wanted it to be more of a new player experience. So uh, when I do my crazy, tough game worlds and builds, new players don't really understand the consequences of most of the choices that I make and just how they affect the game world with the difficulty settings and character build and how they overlap all the various factors to make for a powerful build and all that. So I wanted to do a, a more normal player, a new player type of an experience and show that you can so live in a mega city and do just fine uh, as long as you know, know a few things and understand a few things and, and do a few things. So that's all. That's the only reason. Oh, the healing rate still freaks me out. <laughs> oh, man. Default healing is just crazy fast. Crazy fast. I can't survive in a forest. The reason is I die of boredom in the first 20 minutes, and then the challenge is over. I get super bored, and we're all done. So, there you go. I don't do in a woods or woods woodland only type challenges. They're they're just super easy, super predictable, and super boring. So not anything I am interested in. Oh, uh, let's see. Still overweight, so we're good there. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about the vehicle, so. Let's do a little bit of vehicle adjusting real quick. Um, I shouldn't need the crane for any of this. We'll just rip out a few things that we know we're not going to use. And get rid of the aisle. Install kitchen units.
All right, kitchen units in. Where is my crane? Activate folding engine crane. Go get batteries. Install storage battery. Alright, batteries are in, and we've got the kitchen unit, so now we can cook whatever we want. We'll leave the crane over here, and now I can boil water to my heart's content. One, two, three, four. Yep, we're fine. So, let's just do a couple of big batches of water real fast. Uh, not the purification tabs. Oh, that's right. I forgot we can do 50 at a time now. Three hours and 21 minutes. I am adjacent to my table. That's yeah, fine. Let's get it done. Uh, that had better be the other hot plate. <laughs> Probably going to be the portable hot plate. Now I'm using my battery. Nah, building your own building is more something you can do just to say you've done it. There's no reason to do it. If the game had more of a tower defense type aspect where there hordes of zombies would assault your base, there would be a reason to set up defenses and to get fancy about the building and all that kind of stuff, but there isn't and they don't. So, other than the occasional random zombie that wanders up, once you've cleared the initial area... There's very little activity or action that ever happens at the base. Unless you're forcing the issue by things like previous challenge I did where I set up in the middle of a mega city, had wandering hordes turned on, and was making a bunch of noise, and set up my base right on the nameplate, and had like double zombies, and I made it really crazy. And even then, after a while, I couldn't get any action at the base. So, uh, I want that to go into a 60 liter tank, please. Alright, so we got some clean water on hand now. Plenty, oh plenty. Now let's do... Hey, hot plate. Come here, you. Unload. Hot plate. And what else is it using to... Mean what? Multi-cooker. All right, multi-cooker needs to go. Hey there, multi-cooker. You also need to be unloaded. I don't want you guys to even show up on the options menu. All right, now when I cook water, it should just be the one choice that I actually want. Yeah, but now it's just using the hot plate up here. All right, so now we're burning battery power out of the vehicle. That's the way I needed it to be. Let's have some more graham crackers. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Try to keep that overweight status going. Um, oh, that's right. I'm burning my flashlight the entire time. <laughs> that's not fun. Yep, you can build any kind of vehicle you'd like. Build it from scratch, which I'm going to do with the motorcycle, or you can modify an existing vehicle, which is what I'm doing with this Humvee. The goal is to mod the Humvee to my normal standards that uh, all the regulars have seen me do lots of times, and then I'm also going to scratch build the Mega City motorcycle that uh, Judge Fred is going to cruise around the city streets on. But I need to get the me I need to get this vehicle set up in a few certain ways in order to. Uh, make all the processes easier so we got storage batteries installed now so we've got a ton of power and um, I've got the kitchen unit installed so we can do all of our cooking I don't have to worry about setting up a fire or anything like that light source would be nice and I could use the vehicle dome light if I needed to when I do reading and all that so we we might do that as well uh, we'll see will the motorcycle have a mounted turret of course it will 
As soon as I find one, we'll put a 50 cal Mod Deuce M2 turret on it. But we gotta track one down first. <clears throat> All right, uh, what else do I need to work on? So, we need to basically just keep reading. Uh, there's not much else I can do now that I've got the utility of getting the uh, kitchen unit done. So, electronics to five, 36 minutes at minus one is pretty bad. Is that my only choice? Not quite. Electronics to three, 20 minutes, yeah. All right, let's do that one. Just once. We're going to be here reading for a bit, so let's go back to uh, taking off the bar boot. Where the harmonica? Where'd you go, harmonica? Activate the harmonica so we can jam to some tune. I guess I could turn. I could put a radio in the uh, Humvee and do it that way. <laughs> a little simpler, but we don't need to burn power unnecessarily. All right, and let's have some fun food. Some toastums and another chocolate bar. Do, 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 do. There's an example of a fun vehicle you, you you can make. I'm not sure you can still make it in the vanilla game. I'm pretty certain you can't make it in the vanilla game. <laughs> I don't remember which one of my videos used the Blaze mod, uh, Vehicle Editions mod, and which doesn't. Maybe it can be done in, in standard. I don't know. It's been a while since I made that one. Yeah, biggest thing I miss about uh, playing this kind of character is just not having taken <laughs> fast reader or more intelligence so I could grind through these books a little faster. Because damn, it feels like it's slowed down a lot. And we're tired at 1900, huh? I'm gonna peek outside real quick before we go to bed. Oh, I gotta fix my, my spear strap. All right, activate. What the heck? Yeah, let's go peek outside while it's light. See how many friends we have in the neighborhood. Should be fairly clear. Yeah, nobody nobody on the block. What do we see out here? Glocks, Walthers. Crazy amount of... Uh, you know, see, there's tactical full helmet. <laughs> firefighter gear, firefighter gear. His sappy ballistic vests. Tons and tons of wallets, batteries. Gas tanks, a million corpses, Prussian blue anti-radiation tabs, food, and then the crazy amount of uh, clothing. I'm not going to look through. Might as well do a minus filthy tag just so I don't have to look at that list again. Fire axes, halogen bars, all sorts of stuff. Nothing I'm overly concerned about, though. Um, Let's see. Can we get into any trouble? Boomer... Zombie child, howling waif, tough zombie. 
So we're pretty good to this end of the block. Pipe fits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come get me, zombie. So, pretty clear to this corner. I'm avoiding the park. It's over here. Er, over here. So there's a lot of zombies between these two sp positions. But uh, we're good to the north. Not going to get much in the way of visitors. All right, let's just go ahead and go to sleep. I'm not even going to bandage that stuff up. Let's see how much we heal without any bandaging. Well, we'll use the makeshift. That's what they're for. Without any bandaging, we probably won't get much in the way of healing. <laughs> These makeshift are just a, a rag, so... There we go. Well, the problem in Dozo is that uh, none of the challenges would be equal. Because of the way the game is designed and set up, everybody's game would have certain random factors that would render them non-equal. What enemies we would each face in the challenge would be different. Um, vehicle spawns, item drops, all that kind of stuff. It would vary drastically. So the challenges would not be equal in order to do a leaderboard type of situation. Be a little rough to try to set something like that up. And it's just a function mainly of how the game generates the world around you. All right, full and hydrated, four in the morning, so we need a little bit of light for a little bit of time. We'll just do a candle. And we finished electronics to three. Yay, one level to go, and we can put that welding rig together, and then we can get some, some real work done, hopefully. Uh, minus one at 36, minus one at 36, and that's my only choices. Well, I guess I'll do minus one at 36 up to uh, level six. Electronic circuit theory. Um, Somebody's out in my backyard again. <laughs> hey, every time I play my harmonica back here. Um, sure. Really? I got shuffling over here too? Ah, apparently we've had a few people move in, so let's get back off of the harmonica. Back to the bar boot and go clean up the neighborhood. Crack pipe and some crack. <laughs> That's all that noise was, that one little guy. Oh, really? He followed me around the side of the building? <laughs> oh, it's funny. One listener zombie caused me to take that break. Good lord. That's funny. Alright, I'm not going to bother with the, the reading anymore. It's not really helping all that much anyway. Oh. But we'll have a chocolate bar. 
fucking toast them. Yeah, I did my own leaderboard challenge. I did the uh, the zombie hunting challenge. What were the numbers? My my achievement was like 630 kills in 24 hours, and the person that won the challenge was 6,300 kills in 24 hours. <laughs> so, if you want to uh, leaderboard, feel free. Go go try my my zombie hunter challenge. See how you do. So folks that are watching that might be new to the game that aren't already chatting, if you have any questions about Cataclysm, feel free to ask during my live streams. I'm happy to answer questions, give demonstrations, talk about why I do what I do, how I do what I do, and so on. And um, a lot of times I'm doing things that I'm not talking about, and you guys might be wondering, well, why does he do it that way instead of this other way? Uh, so feel free to ask. Uh, give me some more candles. That Kendall. Keep watching your VOD so I should support again. <laughs> hey there, McCain. You keep watching. Well, there, there, there's your problem right there. So what do you think about that sequence of events in uh, the Why Vormithrax Loves Cataclysm there, Bendurium? <laughs> That's still one of my favorite, favorite, favorite moments in Cataclysm. It's that kind of a sequence of emergent gameplay that uh, keeps me coming back. I just wish I could get rid of some of the rain noise in that video. <laughs> the rain noise is a little overbearing upon uh, following up listening. So we made it to Electronics 4. Look at that. How special are we? Now that we've got Electronics 4, how about the welding? Look at that. Welding component kit. That's what we need. Soldering iron, an arc welder, the basic tools. Go for it. Then we want a vehicle welding rig. Oh, I need to grab a steel frame. Um, let's grab one off of... Actually... Yeah, we can just grab a door off of the SWAT truck. I'm not using it for anything else. So, here's a tip. I constantly have to tell people, if you're after steel frames, because, say, for example, you want to make uh, the anvil so you can do uh, metalworking, and you, you get to the anvil and you say, okay, I've got my crucible, I've got my hammer, I've got my acetylene torch or my forge or whatever, but I need frames or I need a boatload of chunks of steel or lumps of steel. Don't go for chunks or lumps of steel. That takes forever. Just don't do it. You can get heavy-duty frames or steel frames very easily other places. And um, one of the places you can get steel frames, and the thing that usually hangs people up, is they think they need to have a hacksaw in order to cut frames off of a vehicle. That's not the case. There's, there's multiple ways to get frames without a hacksaw. So if in your game you have not yet gotten a hacksaw and you're desperate for a frame... The two things you can do are, one, get a wrench. If you happen to have a wrench, go to a vehicle. And you can take off the back, the doors or the trunks. So if you look here at uh, that, 
So heavy duty opaque door, heavy duty frame, and um, you need mechanic skill and a tool with bolt turning, which is the wrench. You also either need strength or a lifting tool, which I'll have to go get my lifting tool because I'm I'm weakling. But um, you can get frames just by taking doors or the trunks off of vehicles, and that does not require a hacksaw. If you have a hacksaw, then you can just remove the frame directly after you take off everything else on that space. So, as you can see here, heavy duty frame, metal sawing of two. That's the hacksaw method. But uh, you're not restricted to just the hacksaw method. And then another way to do it is there is a, not a lot, but there are locations where you can find heavy duty machinery. Uh, usually on the roof of buildings or in the utility room of buildings, things like that. And if you've got the uh, the disassembly tools, the the screwdriver, hammer, crowbar, that type of stuff, then you can disassemble those, and they also give frames. So you're not restricted to just hacking them off with a hacksaw. All right. Uh, so I need to go get my. I don't want to drag it through there, so we'll. Uh... I love the little trail it leaves when you have light like this. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's so funny. Remove. Oh, that's right. Uh, I gotta have the, uh, the crane actually near it. Crane has to have line of sight to the uh, the position. Now I'll remove it. And what else did I need? Two of those? I forget. Uh, oops, I can't do it here. Uh, one steel frame. Oh, these are the heavy duty frames. Yeah, I need a steel frame. Uh, this whole thing is heavy duty, huh? Good to know. Um, let's go. Four thirty in the morning. Um, I did not get a. I thought I had a steel frame somewhere in here. Eh, that's fine. Turn off that. Grab that. Come with me. Yeah, this car over here will work. Whoops, my candle went out. It keeps... Oh, it's getting blown out by the wind. <laughs> That's funny. Fine, we'll use a flashlight. Be that way. Alright, so we took the two doors off. Stop crouching. Uh, thought I took two doors. Yeah, there we go. Whoops. Uh, crap. Oh, that's right. I came in through the, uh, the bay door. All right, so we have our frames. <laughs> Let's close the bay door again. Come on. Come on. Love how I can't properly operate a winch. Vehicle welding rig. Go for it. Okay, uh, that's the kitchen unit. Vehicle welding rig is going right over there. Uh, 
And that's pretty much all the magic. So now that we've got the uh, kitchen unit to my left, the vehicle welding rig to my right, and we've got lots of power available via multiple storage batteries installed, I can weld this thing any way I want. I can fully repair it with just a little bit of that battery charge. I can uh, maintain it later easily. All that good stuff. I'm going to hope that I can work on an external vehicle and still get to use that welding rig, but I'm not sure I can do that. I might have to throw a welding cart together to work on the motorcycle. I can't remember if it'll let me work on a different vehicle with the welding rig from that vehicle. Been too long since I bothered to work on multiple vehicles. How long has this playthrough been going? Uh, this is episode 5, I think? 6? It's in the title. <laughs> uh, I am really overweight. What am I carrying? What am I carrying? What, what's what's going on? No, really. What am I? What am I carrying? Oh, I'm not overweight. Why was it showing me overweight? Weight 163. What? Is my carrying that's making me wait 163? Um, I'd really like to know. Now I'm 79. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's not just me, right? You guys saw that weight up in the top right saying 163 like I did, right? <laughs> and all I did was just put the candle out and now I'm back to 79. It's like it was doubling my weight. <laughs> Let's activate the candle again. No, just 80. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that was weird. Huh. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, stuff makes me crazy sometimes. Okay, so we got uh, a couple of the major things done. I still need to rip out this other front seat we're not going to use because we're not dealing with NPCs, so we don't need no... We don't need no stinky secondary seats. And we're also going to rip out... Ooh, can I reinstall the recharge station? Do I care? I don't think I care. Take that thing out. Alright, so we're going to go cargo space, cargo space, cargo space. Cargo space cargo space and usually I put a workbench here but since we're doing a static base in this one we're not gonna bother so we need a bunch of cargo spaces basically and uh, then I do a bunch of general repairs I uh, still need to throw uh, if I come across multiple turrets we'll throw a 50 cal on there um, but mostly we just need to do a round of welding to weld in and repair all of this Stuff that's been damaged. Aren't we missing a wheel? Was this? Yeah, this one's missing a wheel. I'm actually missing a <laughs> the the heavy wheel hub assembly and the wheel itself. So we got our three wheeled Humvee that we're lumbering around in. So another thing we'll have to take care of eventually. For now, let's put that stuff back in the pile. I'm gonna put you over in this corner till I decide to fix you. Oh, uh, very hungry, huh? Let's have... A bunch of graham crackers and some more water. Oh, we're back to normal weight again. Man, how does that keep happening? And we're tired, so we're going to go ahead and tank up on an oil again. Oh, that's right. I can't. Uh, let's do a little bit more reading. Get some food in our belly while we read. Let's do... What do you think? Back to fab? Um...
Dodging is fairly irrelevant given our heavy plate mail and such. Let's do... Hmm. Yeah, let's keep working on that. This one... Versus... There we go. want to read for a little bit to get some uh, space in my belly so I can tank up on oil. That should do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen. Can't quite get twenty. We can wait a few minutes and see if we can fit in Mr. Mr. Number 20. Usually I can do like up to 22 or 23 if we wait a little bit. So we are at 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. 24 times 127. That's how many calories we just consumed. So by the time we wake up, we should be back to overweight again, I think. Still nobody bothering us while we try to uh, work on our stuff. Well, I mean, we are ripping heavy frames off of vehicles and lugging around a crane and dragging frames around behind us and, <laughs> you know, little things like that. So it has a bit of an activity calorie burn level, I'm sure. Nineteen thirty-four. Mostly slept the day away. Um, what next? I don't have the cargo spaces here. Urgh. Come on, map. Uh, we got a few in that vehicle. We can go get. I don't remember if they're all broke or not. There's two there, and I think that's it for the really local cargo space. Oh, there's a truck up there. That's probably got plenty. Most of them are going to be broken, but. Uh, Shouldn't be an issue. I haven't cleared up in that area very well yet, so we might have to fight off a few things. Um, but I'm not in a big hurry on the cargo spaces. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see. I need... I still have not sourced my second military vehicle. I was really, really hoping to get an APC back here. And uh, we did not get lucky with an APC. There were none in the local area. No Humvees, no uh, armored cars. Well, actually, I don't need an armored car. I need a Humvee or I need an APC. And we saw none. So, we're starting to get a little bit of evolution factor going on with some of the nastier zombies showing up, too. Uh, I'm not going to have everything I need in order to put the Humvee together, or the motorcycle together, yet. I need five frames for the main portion of the motorcycle. And I'm going to need 32-inch uh, wheels, which we have to source from uh, uh, another vehicle, a Humvee or an APC. So no matter what, before I can effectively get working on the, uh, the motorcycle, I need another military vehicle. So... Am I using the advanced food system with vitamin deficiencies? There are no vitamin deficiencies. <laughs> Vitamins are a myth. They are an RP, a role-playing function. They have no actual in-game effects on the character. The game tracks your vitamin level. The game will warn you about being deficient. The game will never actually penalize you in any way, shape, or form. No negative effect is ever applied. So, if you want to RP vitamins, feel free. Take your multivitamins, try to eat a balanced diet, have, have fun. But um, no matter how negative your vitamins go, you will never, ever actually have any kind of negative applied to you.
Hmm. I prefer to think somebody was just really wrong <laughs> as opposed to they lied to you. There are a lot of really wrong people that are confidently giving out bad information. <laughs> I spend a lot of time on Reddit and Discord and Discourse helping those really wrong people understand uh, that they're not correct. And it's a never-ending uphill battle. All right. Um, what to do, what to do. We can't really... There's not a lot I can do to improve the character at this point. Sort of a little bit of book reading, but that's not going to affect much. Oh, hey, oh, oh, we're about to hit summertime. We're going to get hot here pretty soon. Our gear is going to be a problem here real soon. Heading into summer, wearing plate mail and chain mail and <laughs> all this other stuff. Uh, yuck. That's going to be an issue. Well, um, for the purposes of finishing the challenge, i got to get the motorcycle made. And to do that, I've got to get... I mean, technically, I could not bother with the Humvee, and I could just strip it and make the motorcycle. But I wanted to have both the Humvee and the motorcycle. So I could have one video I could point players to that's a more recent video that shows how I put together the vehicles and what my preferences are and all that, just in case somebody was interested. So, if I'm going to go out and about, daylight is the easiest way to scout, but also the most dangerous. We're at the no moon stage, so there's not going to be any dark bonus or negative. Yeah, no matter what you do to your, your, your character, you're never going to have any change to your the vitamins. doesn't matter how bad they get. Trust me, it's really easy to test. I mean, you can go to player, you can go to edit player, you you can go down here to set uh, set needs. Yeah, you can go down to here to set needs. You can turn vitamin A to negative a million, and your night vision doesn't change a single space. So, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's pretty easy to test. And I've been arguing and yelling at people for months and months and months and months about vitamins not actually doing anything. It's confirmed by the devs. They don't do anything. So if anybody wants to argue with me about it, don't bother. I've, I've been arguing about this for a very long time, and I've confirmed it many, many, many times. And uh, there's just there's no negative effect. I'm aware that you get messages here that say that you're deficient. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it doesn't ever actually do anything. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. What to do, what to do. Uh, we got to get this challenge completed. We've got our base. We've cleared the immediate area for the most part. The real only thing left is uh, finding that other vehicle. And then I just need to spend the time to actually get things put together. So. I could repair up the Humvee and we could just go bulldozing our way around in the Humvee. Once it's got the welding rig in it, it's pretty easy for me to repair back up if it takes any damage, but it's just a little big. I much, much prefer the motorcycle to the Humvee for rolling around in the, uh, the environment. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to Part, mostly strip the Humvee. I'm going to get the SWAT truck out of here. I'll rip the uh, frames off of it that I need, and then we'll move the SWAT truck out of the bay. Then we'll start working on the motorcycle. I, I couldn't tell you if they're ever going to change it. I, th I, I, Honestly, I don't think it's ever had an effect from what I've read and what I've talked to people about. I don't think it's ever actually had an in-game in effect. Um... Or if it did for a short period and it caused all sorts of problems and they turned it off. I'm not sure exactly for certain which of those is the, the true story behind the, the vitamin system. But um, there's a lot of misinformation about vitamins in the game. And it used to be way, way back long time ago that multivitamins helped your health stat and other things. But th those haven't been true in a long time. 
uh, plate mail, <laughs> a combination of chain and plate with a judo gi. So we're we're pretty stacked on protection. We're still getting nicked and dimed from little hits the here and there that bypass the uh, ninety five percent protection. But I mean, we've got a fitted bar boot helm, plate armor, uh, chain mail in uh, several of the other locations, pads. Uh, we're we're pretty protected, I and mean, the judo gi helps out of, uh, quite a bit too. But um, as I've demonstrated, <laughs> we can definitely still die. Uh, while it looks pretty easy for me to just wander out and whack one zombie, uh, death has almost got us a couple of times now. So, let's pop the door open. Get some bright light in here. Anybody anybody out here want to come visit? Come here, Mr. Zombie. Let there be light. Even then, the light doesn't reach the back of the bay. <laughs> okay, let's grab you, drag you here, and rip off the uh, heavy duty door and the steel plating and the frame. All right, so two frames there, and then another frame there. Come here, you. Remove, whoops. Remove door. And plating. And frame. All right, now it's getting towards dark. Uh, we got one more door we can do if we can reach it from here. Nope. Where are you? The common misunderstanding about these engine cranes is that the crane itself has to have range to the item that's being removed and it has to have line of sight so people get all kinds of grumpy when their character is in range but the crane might be around a corner a few spaces away or they're trying to dig a part out of the interior of a tank or an apc or something and while their character has line of sight and has range the crane does not so you got to move the crane to as close to the position of the part and to make sure there's no blocking line of sight items. And things like boards, like these heavy duty boards here, block line of sight. So this would be a clean line of sight, but if this were over here, for example. <laughs> Come here, you. Erg. There. Uh, if I were trying to get something over here, for example, this board would block my line of sight, so it wouldn't count. Even though it might be in range, the crane can't technically see the part, and you can't get to it. So there are some circumstances where if you're trying to get a part from an interior, you have to remove a board or something from the edge so that the crane can get line of sight to that location. That's a common misunderstanding about these lifting tools and, and how they work. And people get kind of grumpy about it. Oops. All right, so two, four, six heavy-duty frames. That'll do for now. I only need five to get the motorcycle started, and um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of the bay now. Oh, where to park it? Let's park it. guess we'll just try to wedge it in between these light posts up here. Eh, let's just leave it like right here. <laughs> What's in the back of the SWAT truck? Sig Pro 40 cal and an MP5 50 round drum magazine? Eh, no thanks. Really? What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. Did he, like, come down from the north and then step in and come through? <laughs> That's weird. 
Oh, and there's another zombie. Hey, zombies. Alright, drop the rucksack just in case. Wield the shotty gun. Store that in the spear strap. Fire! Fire! Nah, let's not fire at him. Let's just put that back on our shoulder. And wield the quarterstaff again. There! I shot a gun! Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> I killed a zapper zombie with a shotgun slug round. Now let's wait and see who shows up. If anybody. If we've cleared the neighborhood well enough, we shouldn't get too many things coming to visit because of the noise. Ah! Got my backpack again, didn't you? You did, you piece of crap. Do, 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 do. So this is why I don't fire guns in cities. This this right here. <laughs> I kill the one thing, and then I have to deal with a whole bunch of other things. And I've already cleared the local area pretty thoroughly, so... Imagine an area where you have not previously controlled it and cleared it. So that's why you don't often see me use guns in these Mega City type challenges. I don't need to, generally, and um, I think they're more trouble than they're worth. Kill the one thing, draw the 30 other things, and you're, you're net negative 29 on uh, the threat. Oh, I don't know what the sound value was. I didn't look. It's, it's, it's a big number. It, it was loud. I knew I had the area fairly clear, and I wasn't too worried about what was going to show up. So, Okay, so SWAT truck's out of the way. Uh, we got the frames that I'm going to need. We don't have a lot of light here in the bay, unfortunately, still. So I'm going to have to have a, a light source like a candle or a flashlight or something. Uh, I could set up like a floodlight. I think I actually did bring a floodlight, didn't I? Didn't I find one? Yeah, I did find one. I could set up a frame, drop a battery on it, and a floodlight that we can turn on and off. But I, I really don't want to. <laughs> Candles are easier. What will kill poor Fred? Uh, well, I almost died tonight. <laughs> so, I almost died on Monday. There are things that will kill me, but it's usually me getting a little overconfident and uh, my stamina depleting. As soon as your stamina's gone, you're you're in big trouble if there's any enemies nearby. It just depends on what kind of enemies. So, certain combinations can still very easily kill me. Jack zombie at the wrong time, acid zombie at the wrong time, and any of the upgraded zombies could be an issue. But if I'm cautious, it's not likely to happen. I just tend not to be very cautious because, you know, I'm I'm Vormithrax. <laughs> and I like to get in trouble. Getting out of trouble is my most favoritest thing. Oh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to need to get a candle going. I'll have to go smash some more toilets for some, uh, some, can some wax. Uh, let's go ahead and start setting up. I'm actually going to start building it fairly close here. So, start construction, vehicle construction, right there, heavy duty frame. Oh, Mega Moto. There we go. The first frame of Mega Moto. Probably should have picked a different direction for that. <laughs> it looks kind of silly. Hmm. How about we remove that? Let's do that again. Do to do to do. Start vehicle construction there. Frame. Hey, it's not gonna give me a choice. What the hell? I guess your first one you don't get a choice. So I didn't. I didn't do it wrong. All right, fine. Be that way. Now I get to choose. But it's ugly now. It's facing the wrong direction. Eh. It'll be filled on top of with other stuff. So I guess it doesn't matter. Install a uh, frame. So it's not letting me use the arc welder in the vehicle. Oh, wait. Open the door first. How about now? <laughs> Important. Yeah, now we can. So I can use it. Cool. That's all I needed to know. Heavy duty frame, and let's do 
Oh, should we do the big, big, big solid H design or just do... We'll just do the cross design. So that's number two. Install. Number three. Install. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and shut this up at night time. So there it is. Doesn't it look awesome? That's the Mega City motorcycle right there. <laughs> sure looks cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cannibalize the uh, the the Humvee pretty hardcore. We'll just rip the uh, the wheels off of it that we need and all that kind of stuff. And if I can, I'll fix it up later. Right now, I'm just using it as a <laughs> a platform for my kitchen unit, my welding rig, and my storage batteries. But I want to get this motorcycle done because it'll make my life a lot easier to tool around town. That way, we might be able to finish this one up tonight, and I'll have a new challenge on Monday. That'd be nice. Yeah, we got three armored wheels on the Humvee, so we'll just rip the wheels off. It's the uh, it's the wheel hub things that I, I always forget about. Those are a fairly new thing, and I constantly forget I need those. Wheel hub assembly. So hopefully when we take that off, we can uh, we can deal with it. Ooh, do I have a um, do I have a bottle jack? Ooh, I don't have a bottle jack. That's all right. This has both, right? Level seven jacking and level seven lifting. That's not enough. But... Nope, need 12. I need a bottle jack. I didn't grab one. I can't believe I didn't grab a bottle jack. Um... Hmm. I know I've passed a bunch. There's probably one in one of these local garages that we poked into and then marked off uh, like that one there I think might likely have one I need a bottle jack we're gonna go get a bottle jack I forgot about getting one of those all right let's get something to nibble on first Okay, before we head off to get the bottle jack, I'm going to take my, my midstream break. We're about the two-hour point. So for anybody that doesn't know or hasn't heard, I'm uh, on a set schedule Monday to Friday now that I'm going to try really, really hard to maintain. Did pretty good this week. Took yesterday off because it was, you know, major holiday here in the U.S. But um, Monday through Friday, it's 10 to 2. And then I take a two-hour break. And then it's 4 to 8. So we're in the 48, 4 to 8 block right now. Um, and I'm going to try to maintain that schedule as much as possible. So I'm looking for a couple of other games to slot into the various four-hour blocks that I'll be doing through the week. Cataclysm, Seven Days to Die will be taking up their slots, and then uh, i got some other games I need to slot in. So if you have opinions on those, make sure you hit me up on my Discord. Not here, I'll just forget for, for here in the chatter, but uh, Discord I can refer back to. It helps me out quite a bit if you have a particular interest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take my break. I'll be back with you guys here in just a short bit. <laughs> 